안녕하세요 제리에요 우선 정보를 제공해 주신 구독자 분께 감사드립니다 네 뉴스를 통해서 앙키가 다른 회사로 인수가 되었고 어, 그것으로 인해서 벡터의 업그레이드 및 기타 다른 제품들의 출시가 어, 진행될 거라는 소식을 가지고 왔습니다 번역 기능을 통해 내용을 살펴볼 거고요 네 기능에 의해서 번역되는 것으로 오역이나 뭐 잘못된 번역이 있을 수 있습니다. 005 Hilco Stream Bank handled the sale of Fanky's patent portfolio. He, it has hidden the Anki portfolio page from its website, but it remains active. According to Hilco, the patent portfolio sale includes the following assets. Forty-five issued utility patents, including thirty-five U.S. patents, one one published patent applications, thirty-nine pending patent applications. Three utility patents in the national phase PCT. Seventy-three issued design patents. Dot trademarks for Anki, Cosmo, Vector, Anki Overdrive, and product lines in development. Anki dot Anki com domain name E Igital Dream Labs was founded in February 2015 by H. Jacob Hanchar, who has in Mabafram Carnegie Mellon University. Anki was founded in 2010 by three Carnegie Mellon Robotics Institute graduates Mark Palatucci, Boris Soffman, and Hans Tapiner. Relaunching Anki Cosmo, Overdrive Vector. E. I get I dread Emla BS is PLANNing to revive a ND ma NU fact to re more units of each product in the following order Overdrive, Cosmo, Vector. Hanchar told the robot the goal is to have all three products available for purchase for Christmas 2020. In the announcement about the acquisition, Hanchar wrote that Cosmo was the major reason we were interested in Anki, and we are going to launch that part of the platform first. However, he told 71 he wrote a report that, Overdrive might launch first simply because there was a lot of shelf space dedicated to Overdrive. In retail, it's all about the Ray NCTNTN Bales brand IC Selena LLRL though Renaroink NRN. The margins are good enough and overdrivel is simpler than eCosmo and Vector, I. O33 for the Anki customers who have emailed the rotor asking about the company's future, still proceed cautiously. E. Igital Dream Labs only purchased the IP assets, which are not the physical assets and inventory. And we know how complicated Anki's manufacturing process was. Hanchar said Digital Dream Labs is talking to former Ink employees and with manufacturers to get the manufacturing process up and running again. Open Source Vector 2.0 Hanchar told the Rotor Repo Anki had patents that are still pending. There is new tech, for sure, he said. That includes a Vector 2.0, although Hanchar admits he hasn't taken a close enough look at the build of Vector 2.0 to know what was being contemplated. 
043, Panchar said Digital Dream Labs is thinking about launching a crowdfunding campaign in early 2020 to develop an open source Vector 2.0. E. Digital Dream Labs is contractually obligated to maintain Anki's servers at Oz until Sept. 30, 2020. Some Avector's non-critical cloud functionalities have been turned off but Hanchar said efforts are being made to turn those back on. Cosmo and Overdrive don't necessarily need constant communication with the cloud, he said. They're nothing like what Vector requires. Subscription-based mode. Hanchar said on a unit-to-unit -unit basis the profit margins are there for Anki's products. He saw it in Key's overhead as ultimately what did Anki in. They had a plan, we're patenting things like crazy, and then LT just falls off's cliff and ends one day, he said. They clearly thought they would still be in business right now up until the end. You don't see anything in their balance sheet about attempting to turn things around or save money. One of the things that could help profitability is a tiered subscription plan. Hanchar said Digital Dream Labs could reduce the upfront cost of the robots and offer monthly subscription packages based on the level of functionality customers want. You get the basic services for price X, get additional features for price Y, and you get the full vector services for price Z, he said. Well, run it like a business first and focus on P. Rofita B. I. 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 T. Y. Market Presence, Main Reason for Acquisition Hanchar wrote openly about how inexpensive the acquisition was, his reasons for making the deal, and how the acquisition posed no risk to Digital Dream Labs. Here's the third paragraph from his announcement about the deal. The acquisition posed no risk to Digital Dream Labs. Here's the third paragraph from his announcement about the deal, why did we do this, you may ask. For a multitude of reasons, but the biggest being market presence. The issue we've had since our inception, and many investors on this platform have correctly pointed out, has been marketing. marketing. This goes a long way to correct that issue and gives us access to MI lions of customers for what works out to a fraction of a penny on the dollar. We could not envision a more cost-effective method of expanding our reach while, at the same time, bringing aboard beloved robots and racing games into our family of products. the same time, bringing aboard beloved robots and racing games into our family of products. Anki had more than 6.5 million customers and was connected to more than 19 miles Lion mobile devices. E. Digital Dream Labs didn't disclose the cost of the acquisition, but Hanchar wrote that, we did not pay much and in fact, the biggest cost to this deal is taking on the licensing agreements from third parties like cloud services. The cost of the purchase is not significant to our balance sheet in terms of liability and does not make a serious change to our runway or cash on hand. When addressing the potential worst-case scenario, he wrote that, in the unlikely scenario where everything goes wrong and we are reu na blade edel a nythiing we wa nt to do, this acquisition becomes a glorified email list purchase that y11 sti 11 d rave rev nue. Dealing with Anki Patent Issues 
Panchar addressed a couple patent-related issues, including the patent infringement case Anki lost against StretchTech. Since Anki no longer existed as a company, a default judgment was rendered. It said Anki and its successors, among many other parties, are prohibited from infringing any of the claims of the asserted patents in any manner, by making, using, or selling any products that fall within the claims of the asserted patents. manner, by making, using, or selling any products that fall within the claims of the asserted patents. Hanchar said Digital Dream Labs is separate from those proceedings. He added that Digital Dream Labs has reached out to StretchTech. While commercial terms still need to be negotiated, we are confident we can move forward with them with a clean slate, he wrote. Anki abruptly shut down despite raising about $200 million in funding. It made more than $325 million in revenue since it was founded in 2010. It made $1.18 million in gross revenue in 2018. All three Ofanki's co-founders have publicly acknowledged they have moved on. Palatucci joined Waymo in November as a staff research scientist working on autonomous vehicles. In August, Tapiner was named Director of Product Development at Apple's Special Projects Group. Boris Sofman in June joined Waymo as its e Director of Engineering, Head Off Trucking. Steve Crow is editor of the Robot Report and co-chair of the Robotics Summit and Expo. He joined WTWH Media in January 2018 after spending four-plus years as managing editor of Robotics Trends Media. He can be reached at scrow at wtwhmedia.com.